All right, guys, it's time now for our chart of the day, the Adobe Digital Price Index, showing that online prices are seeing, they're seeing a slight decline, falling by almost 2% in March. That slight fall was driven by steep drops in discretionary spending, products like electronics and toys. And among categories with persistent inflation, like groceries and personal care, price increases have slowed in recent months. This comes ahead of tomorrow's CPI data, which tracks the rate of change in inflation and will provide more insights into how the U.S. economy is faring. What stands out to me from that chart, what I love about that chart, if we can bring it back up, is for how long online prices were falling, yeah. right? That on, the, the whole tech economy, and in particular online shopping, was a deflationary impulse, mainly because of Amazon, right? right. Because Amazon, one of Amazon's main competitive advantages with scale and being offered, you know, was the Walmart effect, right? Being able to offer things at a lower price. And then you see that abrupt, abrupt switch in the midst of the pandemic that is now reversing itself once again. And to me, it's just a fascinating story. We got used to paying less online for so long. And that's just not happening anymore, in part because we're not buying as much stuff, period. Sure. Right? Which is why we're seeing that sort of goods inflation, that dynamic start to shift, and what we're buying shifting as well. Right. Electronics, home goods, toys, some of the categories that have the suffered. The big ticket stuff, too. So that's exactly. why also it brings down some of the numbers. Right. And, and to your point, I mean, we had become so used to doing our comparison shopping online because it was that much easier. Didn't have to go to the mall. Didn't have to walk in all these stores. Didn't have to fill up the tank of gas to go to the store mm -hmm. and so there were all of these benefits as well as the couponing and companies that came about and even went public and uh, started traded as a result of that throw of individual consumers out there and businesses that had relied on those discounts companies like retail me not that were able to just oh, gosh yeah remember that just <laughs> flow the coupons out there folks um however yeah coupon coupons can uh, ultimately come back and hit a company especially as they're trying to maintain some of those profit margins right now and so there is even as companies are prioritizing the profit margin less of the deals more of the prioritization from the company perspective and retailer perspective to try and get more full price realization um, however this reversal here perhaps for consumers something to kind of get a sigh of relief about as of right now yes we'll see we'll find out more tomorrow morning in those cpi numbers indeed